Hey everybody, welcome to the GM's Alcove update time. It's been a while. I figure it's time to break out the camera and talk a little bit about my hobby, at least in general. I should have several updates over on my Dash of Elan, the Battle Vlog series, as well as uh, here on the GM's Alcove. Uh, this, of course, is my uh, board game setup. Uh, more on this and what's going on over on the Dash of Elan. So if you've got interest in wargaming, historical or otherwise, you might want to check that out. Uh, otherwise, I do have some 40k, I've got some role-playing, and i got some painting updates I'd like to go into and tell you guys what's been going on at the Alcove. Gaming, that's for sure. Uh, again, in my uh, game room, I do have set up uh, Lord of the Rings, the adventure card game. This is the previous edition. Uh, not the current one that was just released uh, a few months ago, I think. Which I might pick up, just for the convenience of having the extra cards. I believe that starter set allows you to play with four people right from the get-go. Unlike this one, which only provides for two. That would be nice. Nice little change of pace for me. Otherwise, the game is the same. I think they added uh, a campaign rules system. Uh, to link your games together, which is fantastic. I always knew they could do that with this system. Even toyed around with some of my own ideas. But uh, yeah, I do have this on the table, uh, as well as some other things. But yeah, Lord of the Rings. going to break this out. This is, by far, one of my uh, favorite all-time games, honestly. I really enjoy this. I've had a lot of good uh, game sessions, solo or otherwise, with this. And I hope actually get some games in with my nephew. Uh, I'll be doing a lot of 40k over his house this summer, so maybe we'll slip in some Lord of the Rings as well. But yeah, anyway, I do have this on the table. I'm gonna spend a little time over the weekend, I think, uh, in between my Pathfinder game prep. See if I can get back in the flow of this fantastic game. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a fantasy flight game. And like I said, they just recently come out with a revised addition to this game. But everything from the original is still usable. It's unchanged, basically. Uh, they basically just added a new mode of play with, with some cards that fits that new mode of play, campaign play. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same game. The cards are unchanged. And yeah, so I might pick up the revised one just because of that. It's still kind of pricey. I think it's oh, 50 bucks or so, uh, just for the same thing I already have, except more. Uh, again, this is for two, two players, or solo. And yeah, good memories with this game. Highly recommended. Lord of the Rings, the card game uh, by Fantasy Flight Games. Absolutely fantastic. Very thematic, story-driven, narrative-driven gameplay. Whether you're playing with your friends, up to four people, or solo. So yeah. And I'll probably show some of my game sessions as well and talk about that here in the GM's Alcove. But yeah, I've got it out. We're getting all set up. Or at least I am. To play some Lord of the Rings. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to have some fun. Of course, i got some 40K on the painting table as well. And I've been working on these guys. They're very dark, which is intentional. These are Dark Angels, or the beginnings of Dark Angels. Painted the leather pouches yesterday. Uh, they have a very dark green base to their armor, which again is intentional. I wanted that. I'll show you what, uh, they, what they normally look like. But uh, I want this faction of my Space Marines to be very, very dark. Uh, unlike my previous collection that I had, they were a little bit more brighter, you could say. And I'm trying to avoid that with this second go. And I used... Uh, what shade of green did I use on that? I believe it's a Vallejo. Extra dark green, I think it's called. It's probably better without my hand in the way. Yeah, I painted up the leather yesterday. Really fun to paint these guys. It's been years since I painted up 40K models. Uh, figures of this scale. 
I mean, this isn't even 28 mil. But, yeah, they're going to have black weapons, uh, black casings to their bolt guns instead of red. And I'll show you what they look like. Now, this is the normal color scheme of Dark Angels. Uh, kind of like what my original ones were. And you can see they have red uh, for their bolts or casings. And as well as their uh, shoulder pad, their tactical markings, uh, which is fine. I'm going to use that. However, I am going to actually use black, which is an option on the Dark Angels, for my weapon casings. So it's going to darken them up even more. There still will be red. Uh, I didn't like the red or the green that I was using in my previous, previous collection. So I'm trying to avoid that. There we go. But, yeah, I think it's an idea what they're going to look like. And I'm excited. Really excited about doing these guys. I thought about the Space Wolves, too. But, again, the Dark Angels are my backup faction, my second faction. My main one is Sisters of Battle, which I hope to start collecting later this year. But uh, I got a lot of Primera Space Marines uh, from the various starter sets. And I want to get them painted for this summer so I could start playing. So, yeah, we're going to go along, go ahead with the Dark Angels and see how far we get. And, of course, I'm also going to be doing some old hammer. Some 40K 2nd and 3rd edition as well I'm going to be playing. Yeah, I might even play some 8th edition. I've got those. But definitely 9th edition. And right here I've got my codex codices for the, uh, basically the Dark Angels. I've been referring to these as well as the... Uh, some references I got online for the for the current codex of the Dark Angels. Uh, I don't actually have the 9th edition codex or the 8th edition. I do have the 3rd, which I think this is. I believe this is 3rd edition. Uh, the 2nd edition, which is what this is. Uh, boy, what a contrast that is. This is actually a codex that has both the Dark Angels and the Blood Angels in here. So, yeah. My nephew collected Blood Angels. Uh, this is where I got my start. I even cut out some of the flags in here. Look at that. This is where I got my start. The Dark Angels. I had him. Azrael, I believe. Uh, Commander Azrael and his helmet bearer. I had them. They were cool. Can't wait. I'm very excited. Not only to play, but to paint up these guys. And again, you're seeing this uh, way too much red for my liking. And I'm going to do away with that. They're going to have black uh, for their casings and on their weapons. They'll still have the red for the tactical markings, of course. I'm going to really minimize the use of red, as well as darken it. I don't want a bright red. Kind of like what you see on the cover here. These are Dark Angels. And you can see they have black casings. Uh, for their weapons. You don't see as much red in these. I guess this is an alternate uh, color scheme. Whether or not there's meaning behind this color scheme, I don't know, but these are Dark Angels or a faction based on them. I think they're Dark Angels. And, uh, yeah, they're Dark Angels. And that's the Codex. Come on. Yeah, so I'm using this stuff as kind of a reference for the time being. And here you can see some of the more appropriate uh, kind of uh, Dark Angels I'm going to be doing like this. They have black. That's good stuff in here. Raven Wing. And I got some bikers to do. Uh, again, you see the black casings on there. Very nice. I haven't actually read this in years. I'm going to have to read this section. Just what I am looking for. But I do have some bikes, part of the Raven Wing. Uh, I think I have some Terminators too, which will be the Death Wing. Got some character models and lots of tacticals or Primaris. I do have the original uh, smaller models as well, which I'll probably do. Again, I'm going to be playing some Old Hammer as well. It's going to be good fun. I'm going to focus on the 9th edition initially. Get these Primaris done. I've got a slew of them. 
uh, two starter sets worth uh, for 40k, 8th and 9th edition, I believe. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. My nephews uh, are painting and collecting Necrons and Chaos. Basically, uh, Nurgle, the Death Guard, and uh, Korn, the World Leaders, I think. And they're well ahead on those. So, yeah, so I'll have plenty, plenty of battles to fight and report on. I'll make some videos, of course, on our battles. So stay tuned for that this summer. I should take another look at this. I wish he'd show up better. I think that's my captain. I just painted his armor green. Uh, and I'm happy with that so far. I'm not painting anything else yet. He's got tabards going on here, which will be off-white. And lots of lots of other details. Uh, and I probably should also mention these guys here. Uh, basically, that green. This is what they're going to be. I'm going to leave that the way it is. They're going to actually get a wash over top of that to make it even darker. And what I'm going to do once that's dry, I'm going to actually put on some light highlights of a lighter shade of green. Um, just at the very high points. I don't think I'm going to do any edge highlighting. I just want to get these guys done and in the battles. So I'm not too worried about all the edge highlights and everything. And besides, I can always go back later and do that. Uh, I will do the eyes, which will be a nice glowing red. Uh, yeah, so that's what's going on with these guys. Very excited and stoked. And, of course, RPG goodness. I've got my campaign of Pathfinder, Abomination Vaults, every Sunday. I record the videos, edit them. It takes a few days. So I usually put it out there for you guys to watch and follow along on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So I'll stay tuned for that. i got episode 20 coming up this weekend. And the heroes are heading back into the Abomination Vault. It's great fun. Uh, even if you don't follow along, it's good ambience in the background if you're painting miniatures. Yeah, whatever. I love it, and I'm having a great time, as my players are. I'm also running one-shots on Fridays. Uh, still working on editing some of those. We did a Pathfinder 2E one, Sanctuary of the Slaughtered, it's called. Pretty fun. Uh, one of my next ones, I don't know if the next one, uh, but very soon I'm going to be running some Cyberpunk Red, and I'm going to start off with a one-shot. I'm going to Probably run a few one-shots of this eventually, maybe even link them as a campaign. Uh, I'm really excited to get into something different than just fantasy, especially high fantasy. So I'm kind of pushing ahead in my schedule and looking at something more sci-fi oriented, or in this case, cyberpunk. So yeah, and perfect timing because the Blade Runner RPG uh, just uh, hit Kickstarter the other day and it Funded completely in three minutes. Pretty amazing. I don't know if I'll get into Blade Runner. I'm pretty fixed on this. So I'm going to be doing this. If you're interested in playing on my Cyberpunk Red or any of my one-shots, let me know. Leave me a message and I'll get you in the server. That's where I get all my players from on the Discord channel. Uh, GM's Alcove. And I'm going to be recording this session. And I've got a few players now. And we're getting ready. So Cyberpunk Red is up next and i've never ran a cyberpunk game before so this will be new and different for me i think i'm going to do a pretty good job if i don't say so myself i'm excited to try something new but listen to all this uh bass synthesizer cyberpunk themed me uh music on uh youtube thanks to my friends sending along some stuff and uh this is fully set up on Foundry, too, so we're going to be able to use that, which I'd love to use. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So, as far as RPGs are concerned, this is what I'm currently reading up on and getting ready to play. So, there's a lot going on, folks. And, yeah, that's pretty much my update. Uh, I just ordered uh, a board game that's really been interesting to me. Uh, quite a while now and that's Gloomhaven I've been looking into getting into that for for some time very cool very unique game actually and it's full of goodies kind of expensive so 
what I decided to do, thanks to a friend's recommendation, is pick up um, Jaws of the Lion, I think it's called. It's like a primer for full-on Gloomhaven, and it's only like 30 bucks or so on Amazon, and I picked it up. And, and it's basically an introduction to it. I'm thinking, you know, we'll, we'll see, if, see if I like it, see if this is right up my alley, which... It probably is. So I got that coming in a few days, so I'll make a video on that, maybe unbox it, but I'll definitely show off some gameplay and share my thoughts on it, the Gloomhaven stuff, Jaws of the Lion anyway. And if I end up liking that, well, I'll probably end up getting more. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to be playing some Lord of the Rings. got some other war games I'm going to be playing. Again, I'm going to have an update over on my Dash of Elan channel, which is all pretty much historical-themed games uh, board games and miniatures if you're interested in that i still post those here um, not all of them though uh, a little bit here and there i want to keep this adventure themed over here in the gm's alcove but if you're interested in uh, historical stuff war gaming in particular board games or miniatures check that out i'm going to be posting an update over there as well and probably an update to my little series that i call battle vlog which is where I share my thoughts about board gaming specifically and what I'm playing and sometimes talk a little bit about my current games and the turns that go by. And I'll probably do that with my upcoming game session of Flying Colors, uh, Naval Action in the Napoleonic Wars. I'm going to be jumping into that. But if you want to know more about that, Dash of Elan, uh, look it up. Link's in the description. So many folks, I'm going to take off now and jump into my games, do some painting later today, and prep for some Pathfinder 2 this Sunday. You guys hang in there. I'll talk to you soon. And remember, it's only going to get better. Till next time, folks. Toodaloos.